I could have yours. I wanted to pull this bug zipper apart. I was curious whether it was a transformer or not, and no, this doesn't use a transformer. It's an Aussie made Kelly Company bug zipper. It's good to keep in here clean too, because it do get a bit dirty and buggy up in here. So it's a Cockroft Walton circuit, not a um, transformer type. It hasn't been switched on in a long time, but always check that it's not still charged. And lo and behold, check that out, it's got more rats. Didn't know you can get these in Australia, even though they import them and anything. So see, see there's a spring in there. The spring looks kind of like a hello coil. That's how they work. It's like a hello coil in a conical tapered shape. And as you screw these on, they bolt onto the wire and just pull them together. The spring just yeah, a tapered conical shaped spring bites in and pulls the wires into the center and bites them in that way. It's basically how they work. Mm, no branding on them. Quality ones, eh? It's something made in Australia, and we had that sort of we must use this sort of connector, we get more rats. If this was made in China, there were those cheap crimped ones. Fighting Australia. Made in the People's Republic of China. Original starter. This hasn't had much use. It's had about it's 2004 this was made, so it's about 11 years old. Kelly Company, that's the company that made this bug zapper. It's a 2kV, not a 6kV zapper. 44 Fleck 2004. Another insecticurator one. This is a transformer. I don't know about now, but the older ones is it's a 6,000 volt transformer. And then when it had a capacitor, they charged up and they worked pretty much the same. But this is a cheaper way to do it. A Cockroft Walton circuit. Yeah, you can make one of these, but I've never bothered. I can just refer to this as a reference, so actually. I probably could make one of these, you know. I've got all these bloody dyes and stuff. They're pretty easy to make anyway, these things. I just never really bothered. Mots and then NSTs and flybacks are more fun than these, so... I'm never really bothered. But since them sorts of things are getting harder to find nowadays, you have to resort to just using these. They're not isolated, though. And a bloody telemarketer trying to bring us up again. Good look under here. Nice little circuit, Australian built circuit. Hmm, easy. Pretty simple. 240 volts goes in there, charges up, charges up, charges up. Like a, I think it's like a, um, uh, like a, uh, hang on there. It's going to say flyback arrangement, but not quite. You got a discharging resistor. And this is the, uh, Initially it charges this capacitor first, MKP capacitor, goes through that, the life goes in through that, this diode, that diode, that diode, that diode, that diode, that diode, and that diode, and the capacitor, it goes back through to the neutral, and it goes out, it's active and neutral going here, I mean, to charge the capacitors so there's diodes, and the output comes out of here. So it looks like ground through and neutral and 2000 volts of this white wire. It's pretty cheap and efficient way to make a high voltage power supply. Very low cost. This is a future for high voltage fans to get hold of nice high voltage stuff. It's pretty transformers in the old days. The older technology was much more fun and more usable. Not much current though. That's the thing with this thing. Thank you much current out of this. It's all volts, but no current. That goes out through here to these two wires, which goes out of grid in here. All replaceable too, it's good. Very service friendly, this thing. <sighs> Getting tired. Oh, yeah. We're looking at paving all this area. I'm going to extend this out a little bit. Over to about here, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Be nice to extend this out to here, the around about here, and pave all this area up. 
They've found a lot of space in here too. We're going to pay for in here too. We're going to concrete around the corner of the house where the car's parked at the back. We're going to um, get that all concrete and use all the papers behind here. Finish all this corner off. I don't have room behind it to do my metering, but um, A, it's too dirty, there's mice and stuff behind here, and B, uh, yeah, we're always going here, especially Dad's got this stuff here, he's got to get here, always going behind it to get his stuff, and there's just one of the problems of getting stuff in the way. So if I um, save up, I keep saving up my cash, I'll be able to buy a nice place somewhere. I reckon. I might buy here in Mildura before we can move to Melbourne yet. Yeah? Even if we already move to Melbourne, I'll have bought a house up here and invested. Just invest. Let it out and just invest it. Um, there is a place like this. Well, the yard like this, but with a nice shed. There's some nice uh, semi rural parts around this town. Could get a nice bargain, but get the right time there. There's a couple of nice places that they've got room. I think they're this size, but this yard just goes a bit longer, maybe about four metres longer than what this yard here is, and it's got a nice shed out the back. I could still uh, have me fun and uh, do all my metering and stuff. It's, uh, as long as the, um, oh, it depends, it actually, well, I can't do everything, like I can't pop batteries and stuff, I won't be able to do because of the smoke has it. If I, uh, if I go a bit more wall, I can do all that sort of stuff. But anyway, let's make do what I can for now. So you can't wait till I get me friggin', till I get my own, uh, have a nice man cave set up in my own, in my own joint. Anyway, that'll be enough, enough waffle for now. Thanks for watching.